Good morning, everyone. It's still morning. It's almost noon, though. Okay, this is Michelle with Michelle Wilkerson Vlog, and this is your daily devotion for the day, Wednesday, April 19th, 2023. <clears throat> this is from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young, and scripture references are from my New King James Version Modernized Study Bible. And before I get started here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind. I appreciate it. Um, and it will help build this channel. There, thus, it will also help get the word out uh, to folks who are in need of hope in G Christ Jesus. Okay, let's get going here. I love you regardless of how well you are performing. Sometimes you feel uneasy wondering if you are doing enough to be worthy of my love. No matter how exemplary your behavior, the answer to that question will always be no. Your performance and my love are totally different issues which you need to sort out. I love you with an everlasting love that flows out from eternity without limits or conditions. I have clothed you in my robe of righteousness and this is an eternal transaction. Nothing and no one can reverse it. Therefore, your accomplishment as a Christian has no bearing on my love for you. Even your ability to assess how well you are doing on a given day is flawed. Your limited human perspective and the condition of your body with, this, with its mercurial variations distort your evaluations. Bring your performance anxiety to me and receive me, receive it in its place, in its place, my, and receive in its place my unfailing love. Try to stay conscious of my loving presence with you in all that you do, and I will direct your steps. All right, first scripture reference is Jeremiah 31, 3. The Lord has appeared of old to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. And then Psalms 31, 16. Make your face shine upon your servants. Save me for your mercy's sake. And then Psalm 107, 8. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And then Isaiah 61, 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he has clothed me with garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments. And as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. Alright. And then the prayer of salvation. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. And then Matthew chapter 6, verses 19, I mean, verses 9 through uh, 13. In this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us, from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right, guys. Um, like I said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, over on my other channel, Michelle Loker's, I mean, Sweet Home Heaven, I read a, a chapter a day and would love for you to join me over there. And today, um, I, I read... 1 Timothy chapter 4. So that'll be the reading today over on Sweet Home Heaven. If you haven't signed up for truth, you really need to because that's where it's at. We can discuss amongst ourselves as Christians, uh, conservatives, about the direction that we want this country to go in. And we do have power. We have power with our pocketbook. All right, guys, love y'all. Have a great day. Bye.